So I entered the system um, when I was 16. I was with another sibling. We moved a lot of times. Sometimes it was because the state was like, okay, we have to remove you, right? I edged out of the system when I was 18 and I was moved into transitional housing, uh, which helps former foster become independent. I had a rough time with a lot of schools and um, I have learned um, and adjust in different ways of learnings, um, which has helped me now that I'm currently at the University of Cal State Long Beach. I am majoring in criminal justice. A lot of these former foster youth don't have the, I guess you could say the basic needs met. Um, if it's housing, if it's food, if it's education, um, even just the simple thing of opening a bank account. So giving and supplying the thousand dollars a month, it really supports them with their endeavors in which they want to follow through with. It has helped me with some bills, groceries, phone bills, scantrons, notebooks, or even some pens. A lot of these participants are like, hey, I'm gonna go get my master's because of this. Or you know what? I always wanted to be a chef. That was unattainable before. You know what I mean? It's not a handout, it's a hand up. She's not a one trick pony. She likes to do everything and have her hand on every cookie jar, <laughs> you know what I mean? And do abundance of things. Um, but I would really like her to focus in on one thing so she then can follow through with her plan of creating that nonprofit that she speaks about quite often. Yes, my nonprofit organization is mostly for former foster youth because in reality, we don't have that many resources from the state. For example, there's only 3% of former foster youth who continue their education, whether it's bachelor's, master's, PhD. The idea that they are able to attain these things because of the Breathe money, that they have support. It's, this is not just, oh, we supply the money and we say good riddance to you when this is over. We supply, hopefully, a lot of things that they need in their lives building that trust with our coaches and connecting with others, I think that's what makes it um, very beautiful. Mm -hmm.